nodes are our basic building blocks in Tana. They're the branches of the tree, the individual pieces of the outlines where we are capturing uh, the information in Tana. Uh, they're for general thinking uh, and taking notes in an outliner format, for mind sweeps or brain dumps of information, and for then the basic structuring of the relationships between those bits of information. From a mechanical standpoint, um, the way we navigate around in our nodes, if we want to create a new node from the end of a previous line, we can just hit enter. Uh, and that will create that new load, uh, new node. Wherever we may be within a node, if we use Shift Enter, um, that will create a new node below. And if we use Shift Command Enter, that will create a new node above. So that's how we can move around. You can actually already see me moving around. I mentioned it down here, but moving up and down with the up and down arrows. If you want to indent or unindent, you can use Tab and you can use Shift Tab. So tab will indent and shift tab will unindent. Okay. So if I hit shift tab, that will bring that back up a level. Um, when I talk about this here indentation, it sets up a parent child relationship. So if I put these two nodes, this is a parent node to the node indented below. This is the child node um, of the node above and to the left. So indentation creates parents and children. Um, and that's necessary to use that and uh, use and understand that verbiage, because it does come into play parent in particular, um, uh, in certain ways, as you understand more about how to uh, use Tana, and get some leverage out of it. So indent is tab, unindent is shift tab. And that creates that parent child relationship to expand or collapse the node underneath um, a, a um, uh, node that has a child, you can use command down arrow to expand. That'll show or hide the child or grandchild and the up arrow to um, command up arrow to collapse. You have our up and down, as I said, uh, you can move a node up and down by holding shift and command, and then going up arrow or down arrow that will move the selected node up or down. You can select a node by saying shift up arrow or depending where you are, shift down arrow. If I were down below here at the bottom, I hit shift up arrow, it'll only select that, but the second one will select the node. So, you know, shift up arrow or down arrow will select nodes. You can select multiple mode nodes by consistently going shift up arrow or down arrow in the same direction. You can also highlight a node uh, with a mouse in order to do that. Um, undo and redo, same as in a lot of things, Command-Z and Shift-Command-Z uses a lot. Tana's uh, functionality for, for undo is considerably powerful. Um, if you want to open this current node, as in like you focus on it, Command-Period will do that. Uh, you can move back uh, with the same sort of keyboard structures that you might use um, on a browser. Um, and then you can open the current node in a right panel with Command-M, and that will open whatever node you had there in the right panel. So let's look at the exercises. Remember, you can paste this wherever you want in your node, um, in your graph workspace, um, by looking at the description, the very bottom, the Tana paste at the bottom of the description. So there's a target structure here, and I'm going to click on it and open it over here on the right side. And I'm going to move these things around until I get them into the target structure. So I'll expand this with the uh, command down, and I can see home improvement and fitness goals. Okay, so paint the living room, install new shelves, fix the key faucet are all indented under home improvement. And home improvement is indented under personal projects, fitness goals, like that. And all of that is also under personal projects. So that is now done. That looks the same as the target structure. Work tasks, project A and B. Okay, so we'll open our work tasks here. It looks like project A and B, the things are right, but they're out of sequence. So we'll shift down arrow here. So you can see that we'll bring it into alignment. A and B are now correct. And we'll collapse those. Then I have my reading list, fiction and nonfiction. Um, it looks like I have those out of sequence here. So let's make our nonfiction ones, highlight those and move them down. Highlight these and move them up. Indent fiction under fiction. Indent under nonfiction. And then we can we got them set up and we can uh, indent both of those. Sorry, I had to grab them both. 
under reading list and now they're done so you can go and work through that on your own and that'll give you a you try to do it without the mouse you can use the mouse if you want but moving around with a keyboard if you get comfortable with that uh, that will move you through um, tana and get you comfortable much more quickly the second exercise you can do on your own recreating a set of nodes uh, like this uh, and that will let you get more comfortable with using tana and moving around and navigating through those nodes